Now that I'm an old man, it's time to consolidate my sheds. The shed behind me with the kubota and the sawmill, it was always temporary and needs to move. The shed in Mudgee is full of books and timber and stuff. The workshop needs to be emptied of stuff so that it can function as a making place. So much of my activity is spent preparing the site for a new shed. And it's, it, it's, it's ironic that to uh, consolidate sheds you have to build a, a new shed. <laughs> But that's the project at hand. It can be hard to reconcile the brutishness of the chainsaw and the tractor. Remote as it may seem, the objective is always harmony and beauty. Height 723 metres. Well, it's probably the cattle doing this. He was born in 1848 in Sydney and at age 10 he went to Eaton with a son in the creek, got pneumonia and died. It, it looks the same but it looks different. I'm recording you through probably the last gasps of my camera. Yeah. Here. Uh, William Carlos, the second owner. Okay. Uh, Another one. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in uh, 1780. Wow. That's incredible. And it probably would have been a marker for this spot. You know what I mean? It's, uh, your mobs will come down from yeah. um, Scabby Rock. Uh, yeah, this is quite significant. And if you have a look just here, that's how close council comes to this tree grading. Yeah. Up there, another kilometre, and it's you can it's just bubbling out of the ground. So they were hunting them for their pelts. Oh, where they? And they've got the soft, they've got soft to further mink. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, because they've got a million hairs per square centimetre of skin. Ah, oh, okay. And mm. yeah, that makes them completely waterproof. White Watch punk. punk. Mm. That's really mm. 